part of this fucking place. Exactly, exactly why I fucking hate drive, daytime driving. Get a fucking box man getting on the freeway here. I don't know if he's only gagging or if he's just doing what his load his truck's able to do. But and then meanwhile, there's a fucking pickup camping out. Yeah, well, passing me, but somewhat camping out where I have no way to do anything except for just ride it out and play a fucking total guessing game on what the box fan's gonna do. I just backed off a few miles an hour to help him get by a little quicker to, for the sake of the cars behind him. To let people in just to use the restroom only and nothing else. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I had to actually go like nine miles up the road to the pilot instead to, uh, to scale my load. Great, okay. Fucking Tesla Cybertruck and this. Cyber truck here to do. Uh, getting off the freeway there. Meanwhile, this hun meanwhile this Hyundai that was right behind the cyber truck was trapped because I I couldn't go anywhere. Damn it, you fucking asshole! Fucking assholes always had to drive way faster than the speed limit, right? Because the only speed limit that matters is the one that your truck's governed at. Name for numerous reasons. His acting career saw him in various shows like Hardball and others. However, he truly came into the spotlight with Fear Factor. His podcast, JRE, catapulted him to global fame. The biggest podcast in the world today. There's no denying that comedy... Why are you overspeeding me when I'm only doing 70? That makes zero sense. Truck? Fucking kidding me?
do a modify, a little bit of a modification of my normal U-turn setup here. Because I couldn't make my turn as, uh, you know, well, I had to make my turn sooner than I wanted to. Uh, that should be good. Need to be hitting that fence. Not feeling any weight on this thing yet. my airbags up before I uh, try to latch in because I know that uh, if I don't feel it there's a chance I might high hook it. So this is one of these cases where things can easily go wrong. This trailer here is trailer 30928. The trailer that I want is 30328. I thought maybe it was a typo at first, but I went ahead and uh, walked the line to take a look. And sure enough, there's a 30328 just a few spots over to my left. So we're going to have to disconnect from this and hook back up to that one. One time getting that thing out of there. That's right up against that Schuster trailer, so I'm gonna have to pull it out. Get my uh, uh, hopefully it's down low enough where I can just raise it up off the raise the landing gear off the ground with my airbags. I pull it out so I can actually get to the landing gear handle. feel it already but I'm not. So, 
might be a bit of a challenge getting it out of here. Why am I not getting any pressure yet? any pressure on my suspension gauge. Concerns me. That's even with my airbags up. Uh. 